The landmark arbitral ruling on the West Philippine Sea issued by the Permanent Court of Arbitration was delivered 12 days after the Duterte administration assumed office in 2016. According to former Executive Secretary Salvador Medialdea, former President Rodrigo Duterte maintained the status quo at the Ayungin Shoal. Specifically, this refers to the alleged promise made by former Defense Secretary Walter Gasmin to the Chinese Embassy in 2013 to deliver only food and water to the Marines stationed on the BRP Sierra Madre. This vessel, grounded at Ayungin Shoal in 1999 by the Philippine Navy, serves as an outpost in the West Philippine Sea. The status quo at the Ayungin Shoals where BRP Sierra Madre, a dilapidated warship, has Warship, which has served as a Philippine military outpost in a low elevation reef since 1999, was in a 2013 commitment of former Defense Secretary Gasmin to the Chinese Ambassador Ma Ke King that he would only deliver food and water to the Marines stationed at the vessel. However, according to former Defense Chief Delfin Lorenzana, former DND Secretary Walter Gasmin did not brief him about the said agreement. He also revealed that repairs were made in BRP Sierra Madre in 2021. But uh, it is not true that we did not uh, do some repairs because uh, in 2021, that, uh, that was the start of the Binomba Tayo ng Water Cannon ng China because they are the claim that we are bringing repair materials to uh, Sierra Madre. Uh, the, the, the Chinese uh, embassy is claiming that we are trying to strengthen the ship as a whole. But uh, according to the Navy, which I, when I talked to them, I nearly repair lang nila yung uh, tulugan at tirahan ng ating, ng ating uh, uh, detachment doon, which we did. Uh, despite the protest of uh, Ambassador Huang, we uh, did the repairs uh, until I left uh, office in 2022. So, tuloy tuloy yung repair na yon ng uh, Navy. Lawmakers questioned why the Duterte administration pursued the status quo regarding the BRP Sierra Madre despite the arbitration ruling favoring the Philippines over China. Personally, for this representation, yung Commitment, if any, first and foremost, in 2013, was premised on the fact that there was no arbitration ruling. And in 2016, when the arbitration ruling came out, explicitly saying that we have an exclusive sovereign rights over exclusive economic zone, hindi po binago yung supposed status quo. Because I think if that were the case, po, no, dapat we would have postured our foreign policy anchored on the PCA ruling. Yung arbitral ruling, nagdi-declare na atin yan. Di ba? Uh, yes, uh, sovereign yes. Right. We got... And therefore, being part of the sovereign right of the, 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 the Philippines, we can do anything in so far as the, the BRP is concerned and not necessarily be covered and be bound by the so-called agreement between Sec G Gasmin and... Uh, and uh, and uh, wh whoever is a Chinese official. Meanwhile, because the name of former Defense Secretary Gasmin was mentioned, the joint panels will invite him over for the next hearing. Former presidential spokesperson Harry Roque has also been invited. It was Roque who first mentioned about the alleged gentleman's agreement. Meanwhile, former Executive Secretary Medialdea, former Defense Secretary Lorenzana, and former National Security Advisor Hermogenes Esperon denied the existence of a gentleman's agreement regarding the West Philippine Sea. According to Medialdea, there were eight official meetings between former President Duterte and Chinese President Xi. In the two meetings where he was present, no gentleman's agreement was discussed. President Duterte, being a lawyer, knew fully well that it was foolhardy to enter into an agreement, especially a gentleman's agreement at that, with the President of the People's Republic of China on matters involving sovereign rights. Lorenzana and Esperon confirmed this as well. Rosa Licoz, UNTV News and Rescue. We serve the people, we give glory to God.